Welcome back. This section of the show is called Ask FPA. You can send your medical questions to TV at FPALex.com and include your name if you'd like for us to use it on the air. Tonight's question, what causes fatigue besides lack of sleep, asked by James Thomas of Lexington, Kentucky. And here to help me answer that question is my partner at Family Practice Associates, Dr. Mary Hinkle. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, he said lack of sleep. That is a big deal, right? It is, it is. We can't avoid talking about lack of sleep because one major cause of fatigue is likely sleep apnea. And I think that's super common in the majority of the population, especially if you're overweight. And in order to get checked for sleep apnea, you can come to our office. We can refer you to a sleep study center and they even do home studies um, for some people. And if you are a candidate to be on the equipment, then that can answer a lot of questions. And help with the fatigue. And help with the fatigue. But there's, I mean, there's a whole lot of other causes. I mean, you mentioned sleep and sleep apnea. How about anemia? Anemia is a common cause of fatigue. Signs of anemia could be if you have easy bruising. If you are a menstruating female and your periods are heavy, that could be a, certainly be a common reason to have anemia. There's also some internal bleeding that can occur where you may see things like black tarry stools that could indicate anemia, and that would be a reason to think about getting to the doctor, get checked for anemia. How do you know? Just a blood test? A blood test, simple blood test. Okay. Everybody says thyroid too. They think because they're tired is thyroid. Is so multiple good? autoimmune conditions can cause, uh, be linked to fatigue and hypo low thyroid conditions definitely could create fatigue. And how do you, is that a blood test also? And that's a blood test, a simple blood test. There are other signs and symptoms of a low acting thyroid, brittle nails, hair thinning, weight gain, um, constipation, dry skin. So you mentioned a whole lot of symptoms. We've talked about a couple of causes, but how do you know when, you, when you're tired enough that you should actually come see the doctor? I would say if you are having trouble with your activities of daily living, getting through the day with just the, the routine without um, being able to feel like you're comfortable and energetic and, and let alone the fact that we all should be exercising per the American Heart Association as many days of the week as we can, at least five for 45 minutes at a time. And if, if we can't make it to do that, um, that's not a good sign. Okay, well we, we talked about some diseases, but also there's medications that can cause fatigue, either prescription or even over-the-counter medicines. Definitely, hidden, hidden uh, facts about medications can cause you to be fatigued. For instance, there's multiple blood pressure medicines, especially beta blockers that could be linked with fatigue in many patients. Um, allergy medicines, allergies themselves can make you fatigued. Now, um, you mentioned also lifestyle, so we talked about diseases. What can you do to, to fix the fatigue? To fix the fatigue, well, first of all, we talked about anemia. You can go and get checked for that, and if so, start maybe possibly iron, depending on you know what the problem is. There's also um, B12. Some people are B12 deficient, deficient that can lead to anemia, so B12 supplementation. But another main factor is getting up and doing more, because the more you do, the greater your metabolism will be, and you'll feel better. Now, we talked about diseases, but a lot of things that I see, and I, probably in your practice too, is stress and depression can lead to fatigue. Yes, definitely stress and, dep and depression can lead to fatigue, and, and also anxiety. And, and the sad thing is a lot of those medicines too can exacerbate fatigue, but all you can do is try. It's, you know, they call it practicing medicine for a reason, <laughs> so all you can do is try in that situation, and counseling is, it's extremely important in those patients. About like caffeine and alcohol, are they important? Too much of anything isn't healthy, and definitely more than one to two drinks of or, uh, alcoholic beverages, depending on if you're male or female, and, and more caffeine than one or two a day is not healthy and can lead to fatigue. That's great information. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. And if you're fatigued, you might want to make a trip to your family doctor.